Hi, Jalissa. Sorry this is late, but life has been life things. Okay, so this is my first vlog for dance performance, and I'm going to go ahead and read the questions. I have my laptop in front of me, and we're just going to go ahead and get through this. Okay, so what were your expectations of this course? Did the course make these? Mm, I don't know if it's because, I think because that dance demo was different between the first time that I took this, this course, and now. The first time I took this course was when we did our theoretic. Theoretic, theoretical, theatrical, our theatrical um, dance demo. So like we did like cabaret and we did the greatest show. Whereas now, um, the dance demo focus is on like joy and things of life. So we're really kind of delving more deeply into our emotions. I think um, it wasn't what I was expecting because I thought it was gonna be more theatrical, basically. <laughs> yeah, but. I do like this, and it didn't meet my sec it didn't meet my expectations when it came to like um, consistency within the dances and how they correlate with each other. So I definitely can say that. And then the second question is, how did you feel about the core the choreographic process? Did you enjoy the rehearsals? Why or not? Um, personally, I really enjoyed the rehearsals one because we practiced we had to practice a little bit everywhere. So we go in like Building East. We were in the UC for one of them. Sometimes we'd be in Grace, sometimes we wouldn't be. And I also enjoyed working with the boxes once I became more comfortable with them. I definitely enjoyed that. Um, I think the choreographic process was very interesting. It was kind of unorthodox because I feel like I've never been one person who's been really fond of outside or like dirt. So it's definitely is making me question like, like is there something that I'm missing or is there just like an aspect to how this might be joyful that I need to end in, like, I need to, like, dive deeper into. So I think that the choreographic process is definitely one that's making me think more. And then, number three, are you ready to perform the piece you're dancing in? In what way? I think, movement-wise, no. I would like a couple more practices, of course. One, because I haven't finished River's piece yet, and two, because I just want to practice your piece a little bit more but where my emotions stand within the pieces and how i'm supposed to be portraying certain character certain characters and certain character traits i do think that i'm i'm ready like mentally to do it out in the open, in the open. and then for if you were the choreographer would you have done anything different during the creation process If I was the choreographer, I think with River's piece, I would, it seems like a very long game of tag, and I would try to input or implement more traits from different, from different um, childhood games, if possible, just because I feel like it's all tag. There's a, there's a sneak peek of hide and seek in there at the very beginning, but for the most part, I feel like it's a tag. As for your piece, I would probably I would probably space out the boxes, but you want them to be connected, so I already kept them spaced out because I feel like that's really going to help us to like be able to distinguish oh there's an outside of the box and there's an inside of the box and not just us continuously jumping in and out and then my last question as one of the dancers what is your connection like with the piece you are performing in um for rivers piece i'm somebody who thoroughly wishes they could go back to being a child. I don't really like adulthood. Um, haven't really liked adulthood since I've been in it. And honestly, Rivers Peace is letting me live my childish dreams of just playing with my piano alone. And then for your piece, I think your piece allows me to put limits in my mind that makes sense. Sometimes my mind wonders and it does that in dance too. It reflects that in dance. And I really just 
lot of times my brain goes off to one way it's not supposed to be that way so i think this dance helps me do what i love but also place a limit on it via the boxes and the time that i'm like oh no i'm not right this is the right side i'm supposed to be wearing but i'm also supposed to dance bigger within not having those boxes but it's like i'm placing myself in the box when we don't have the boxes anymore whereas when we did have the boxes i would be trying to find ways to get out of it so i think that could definitely help and then that is it again i'm sorry this is late but life is a life you know i appreciate whatever grade you give me and you have a nice night